One of the core principles of passive investing is that investors with a wide spread of assets take a much lower risk than those who hold just one asset. Investors should therefore ensure that their portfolios are highly diversified. It seems common sense that owning assets with a negative correlation, a combination of shares and bonds, for example, should reduce risk. When one goes up in price, the other usually comes down. But in 1952, Harry Markowitz, an economist at the University of Chicago, developed what he called portfolio theory, which mathematically proved it. The theory, sometimes called modern portfolio theory, also showed that diversification lowers risk even if assets' returns are not negatively correlated, and indeed, even if they're positively correlated. This is the formula Markowitz came up with for the standard deviation of expected returns. The theory has been developed by many different academics in the meantime, but it paved the way for portfolio construction as we know it today. Harry Markowitz developed this idea of mean variance, which is the, the, the return and the risk in your portfolio. And he wrote the early texts on how you incorporate those um, components into portfolio formation. A lot of his uh, uh, theorising on risk and return were then taken up by uh, William Sharp, who then thought, well, what if, what if everybody does this? What if everybody uses this model? And then the key contribution he made was that the optimal portfolio for everyone turns out to be the market-weighted portfolio. William Sharp was an economist at the University of Washington, who in 1964 had a paper published in the Journal of Finance outlining the capital asset pricing model. There were really sort of two key takeaways, if you will. One is the most efficient strategy for an investor is to hold basically a broadly diversified portfolio reflecting the market of securities that are available. And the second is that there will be a reward in higher expected return, not guaranteed, but expected, of uh, forbearing risk, but the kind of risk for which the reward should be available is the risk of doing badly in bad times. The capital asset pricing model was based on just one variable, market risk. It was later expanded on by professors Eugene Farmer and Kenneth French at the University of Chicago. The Farmer-French three-factor model added two more dimensions, size and value. Farmer and French showed that um, once you control for um, the book-to-market ratio of a company and size, then the beta of a company or the systematic risk of a company, which comes from the capital asset pricing model, doesn't really make much of a difference. So in other words, whether a company has high systematic risk or low systematic risk doesn't really make a difference in terms of the returns that you can expect on that company. That was quite revolutionary. The model for constructing portfolios that Harry Markowitz developed and that Sharp, Farmer and French improved upon still has its critics. Even among proponents of passive investing, there are those who say it doesn't tell the whole story. But portfolio theory has undoubtedly had a major impact on how we invest. The award of the Nobel Prize in Economics to Markowitz and Sharp in 1990 was belated recognition of the huge contribution they made to our understanding of how all of us as investors can best balance risk and reward when saving for the future.